okay, I'm not sure if this is going to work. I normally don't do stuff like this, but um, I wanted to, I, I've been really struggling trying to get this ready contest uh, to work. And so I thought, well, this is pretty slick. Once I got some things figured out, Logan helped me figure out some of the audio stuff. So now we have FL, this is FL Digi over here. It's working pretty good. You can see there's a there's a signal right there that I'm on. And this is the way you want it to work for Ritty. Um, you have two two little long uh, signals that are coming and you want to kind of hover over this. I think that it will it'll automatically align if you go over here and click align. I think it'll do that. I, I it doesn't seem to me like it really truly aligns. But anyway, so so this window here that I'm hovering hovering over is uh, the N1 MM contest uh, window, and it's got your macros here. So, for example, if I want to call the station, really the only two buttons I, I, I use in this whole deal is I do S&P call him, and it sends um, it sends my call, and then DE, and then his call. And then once he sends, comes back to me, I push search and pounce here, or I mean, no, search and pounce exchange. So anyway. Um, this is a pretty cool contest, and I've gotten about 54 contacts so far, but the first few hours, I mean, it was like, it was really slow. But now that Logan's helped me figure out my radio settings, uh, I'm doing a little bit better. I was having trouble decoding, uh, and then also I was having trouble when I would transmit, it would transmit on a different frequency. And so I used uh, the different interfaces. If you go, if you open let's just close this down real quick. This is the digital window. So really, this is what you're used to seeing with N1MM. You're in a contest, you're working the contest, you have your logger, uh, you have you have the, the, the logging window, and then you open the logger, which is this window here. That lets you see who all you've worked so far. Uh, I usually keep that on a different screen. Now, NFL, if you're going to use any digital mode in N1MM, you go to Window, and then you go to Digital Interface. Now, it took a little while to figure all this out, but once you do that, it pulls up FL Digi, which is this, this screen right here. So it's using FL Digi to pull in the, the decode. Now, the cool thing, and then this window here, I think, is a standard window in N1MM. It can use different in interfaces, MMTTY, which is what I used in the past, and then MMVRI. Uh, I've used that in the past as well. Um, I couldn't get them to work this time. Not sure why. Probably upper sideband, lower sideband, don't know. So I'm using FL Digi right now. Uh, at least I think I am. Yeah, using FL Digi. So let's see if we can make a contact here. It says this is, this is JO. Now, with Ritty, sometimes your decodes aren't really that good. And so I, what I do is I'll click on the call sign. It'll pull it into this window, and then I'll look it up in QRZ just to make sure. Let's see. So, so there's he's, someone sending, sending him a signal report, and I'm waiting for the CQ station to call. So here we go. I think it's this Victor Echo Victor Echo, Victor Echo Bravo uh, station, I think. Let's let's just wait here and see. It's a it's a weak station. In fact he's gone now. Go ahead and minimize the log. Let's go find a different station. This guy's gone. And the band is getting really weak. Let's wait here. Now I'm using the actually the real dial on the radio. I'm just turning the dial here. Waiting for one of those stations to come back. Here we go. Here's a strong station. All right, so this is KF J KF Charlie Juliet. Well, that, that's not a call sign. But, so what I do is I'll do clear RX, it clears the whole screen. And this will give me the chance to see it fresh. Here we go. I think I've already worked this one. I think I worked him on another band. Otherwise, it would say duplicate. So now that I've got him pulled up here, 
I'm just going to hit call him. This is me sending. And if he comes back, yeah, there he is. He's coming back, telling me I'm five nine. Um, I missed the state. Oh no, he's not a. Oh, oh, this is probably Hawaii. Now I've got to search and pounce exchange. So I send him back that he's five nine. I think I worked this guy already, but I must have worked him on ten meters. So he's saying thank you. So obviously that that one went really smooth. Earlier today I was struggling a lot, but because he's already here, I just go view show in QRZ, it pulls him up here. So he's Hawaii. So I've worked him on another band. Cool thing is, I don't know if I've got Hawaii on 15 meters, but if I do, or if I don't, it's going to give me a pretty nice little uh, bump in the point. Let's see if I had Hawaii. The log will tell me. Oh, I think I closed the logging window. No, nope, that was new. That was a new. I, I worked him on... I worked him on 10 meters earlier, so here's the here's the log. I worked the same guy on 10 meters, so that gives me a, another multiplier, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I just thought, you know, you don't understand this stuff until you see someone give a demonstration. I don't know. Um, it seems pretty basic. Uh, there's a lot of troubleshooting I had to do to get to this point, but once we get here, it's a lot of fun. It's very addictive. Um, it's not like, you know, with FCH, you can sort of see the stations coming in with these. You don't really know who you're going to contact until you contact them, <laughs> until you decode. So it's kind of cool there. Anyway, um, let's try, let's see if we can try one more. Here's a strong signal. That might be KD2KW calling as strong as that is. Let's see. This is on 15 meters. Whew, that's loud. Well, I've already worked him. So I'm going to work him again, probably. But you can see how if he's a duplicate, it tells you. So that way you don't embarrass yourself. Yeah, we may be running out of room here. Let me turn this one down. He's, he's a powerful one, too. Whew. I think I've worked this guy too. Let's see. Yep, I've already worked him. But we we could probably work him again just to see. Maybe he'll slap our hand and say we're a duplicate. So I'm clicking search and pounce, call him, and we'll see what he says back. He's like, get off here, you dummy. Okay, so. He didn't say I was a duplicate, so send this back. Anyway, I normally would never work anybody like that except for he's such a strong signal. It's a good demonstration. You see it sends back 5904, which is our section, well, our CQ zone, I think, and then it sends Texas. So the, the, the exchange in this contest is the call sign, signal report, CQ zone, and then if they're a state, um, you put in the state. If they're the egg, and you don't put anything there. I had to ask Ken about that today. Anyway, I thought this was kind of interesting, and uh, maybe some guys who didn't have a chance to work in the contest yet can see this, and maybe it'll be helpful. So, anyway, hopefully Bentley can learn from this.